Oh my God, I'm live. Hello guys. I am going to cook some chicken back today. Welcome to Dalian's Kitchen, guys. Everything happened so fast. I didn't even know that the thing went live. So I'm doing this single-handed. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Just one tiny second. <laughs> I can't believe the live went on while this thing was hitting. Uh -uh, I'm gonna have to cut it out. So just give me a second, guys, to come into view. Everything happened so quickly. Welcome to Daniel's Kitchen. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm cooking chicken, but Rambo, I just sent you a link on your WhatsApp. Check it. I'm going live now with my chicken. You don't have to do that just to find some of the messing about so today i fancy something different and that is jamaican chicken buck yes and i have gotten some amazing pieces from a shop in peckham here in london Alrighty, so let's get this show on the road so guys if you don't know what chicken back is, let me know and I will show you from scratch how you prepare it and the steps to take to where I am right now. So my chicken back, I'm... Jesus Christ, I am on live, I can't talk to you now. Huh? Uh, try again. Ah, uh, Jesus. Guys, sorry. Why is it people always go the wrong time? Mm. Anyway, it's okay. So, as I said, I'm at this stage now. So, I ha have got my chicken back clean them up and season them they are well marinated i've taken off the skin i don't eat the skin of me so i've peeled off the skin i've added blended organic um seasoning to it i've blended up my onion my bell pepper my thyme my garlic my pimento seeds i blend everything and then add here and a little bit of powder seasoning so what i'm going to do at this stage i'm going to add to the flour so i'm using two types of flour plain flour and corn flour i don't have enough corn flour so wherever it ends that's fine i'll just use one so i'm going to add a little bit of paprika to each batch of flour i don't need anything else because my chicken here is marinated well enough right so I'm dip the chicken back into the flour the plain flour first. I don't need any salt. My seasoning carries enough salt already. So over here, I have the pot well ready. The oil is ready. 
right thank you hello denise welcome to my kitchen and my chicken buck yes and i'm gonna dip the flour in i said the flour the chicken back into the plain flour then into the other flour corn flour it is before placing them into the oil but i want to do more than one piece at a time so i put them on that plate there just keep repeating the process until you are finito. If you fancy some chicken back, tell me I'm going to send some for you. <laughs> but getting it is the question. How? But for all of the Jamaican them who say they not eat chicken back on the liar chew on the door, no which part to get it. Lani? <laughs> Yeah. I don't see you on here. Come and get it and do what I ask you, please. What did you ask me? Lani? Yes, mommy. Get that thing from your face and come in here. You didn't ask me anything, so what do you want me to do? Tell me now. So that I know. It's the phone there, open up. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Welcome into the live guys, please click the like button. Can't see the comment just yet, but I'm trying to look at another phone here. Make sure that volume is down, please. Yeah. Get in there, get in there. So I'm French frying my chicken back. Yeah. Guys, have you ever had chicken back with uh, Aki? I've ha I haven't had that in over 20 years, but we we usually have that when we were younger. It was so nice. Chicken back with ackee and dumplings. Jesus, I tell you, those were the days. I get it today, I'll still have it. But it's not the same here in London, getting the ackee in the tin. It's nicer when you just Plant the ackee tree and just pick the ackee and prepare it fresh. It's just more organic. The flavor is different. I don't know if you guys find the same, but for me, I like it that way. You're looking forward to the malt water and chicken back, Miss Denise? Hmm. I'm going to carry one piece for you. <laughs> Ooh ha Click the like button, sister. Welcome into the live, guys. Okay, so I have several pieces of chicken here. I can just pop them into the pot straight away. Uh, my hand is a bit wet, so I don't want to wet it anymore. So just get in the paper. So the oil is very hot. So let me bring you closer. I don't have any help with this one right now. So I'm multitasking. I do camera a bit for myself. So the trick with this one now is I won't fry the chicken completely by oil. At some stage, I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to put them on that tray next to the pot and then I'm going to pop them into the oven so that they can fry or cook properly on the inside. To reduce the amount of oil yeah all right i can stay there for a minute while i continue to do the rest of the chicken all right once i do that then i can see my flower hand the chicken back then nice and big and flesh you see lord i got this in peckham london guys this is not jamaica this is in London, UK. Mm -hmm. Where a lot of us behave as if chicken back is not okay to consume. The love thing. I will eat mine, yours, and everybody else if you don't want it. Yeah. Watch out, guys. Tomorrow I'm coming again with my chicken foot. I'm going to do curry chicken foot on Christmas Day. Hello. 
We don't want to hear how we don't want to be easy. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to prepare it while you're having turkey and all the big stuff, curry, mushroom, curry, goat, the cup turkey and all that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Turn my attention to my chicken back to the pot. Oh, yeah. So what I, what I normally do, I would put the, the chicken back into the egg and then into the corn flour, but I can't bother with that right now. I'm in a hurry to get to somewhere. So I'm just doing it without the, the egg. Rambo Green Hands, how are you doing? Welcome into the live. You want some chicken back? Hey, talk to me now. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> yes, sir. It's available if you want it. I'm gonna do this one. I'm doing the other way around. Corn flour, then mm -hmm. flour. Uh, I should have put the, the chicken back into egg and then into the flour, but I don't have time right now. I am on a mission. I have to get to somewhere. Look good. It can taste good too. Yeah, ma. The best bit is to come is when it's done fry and you chop it up and add some ketchup and some pepper to it. You know the bottle pepper like we used to buy it at the shop. Back home, lard man, it's up nice. Yeah, alright, so I'm going to the last bit of chicken. Back up. As I said, I remember some years ago, I was in Jamaica. And I went to the shop, and this guy came into the shop. And he came in to buy some chicken back. Right? And... He didn't want anybody to hear what he was buying. But you know, with Jamaica, we just pull a phone and, and make a phone and every little thing. And the guy came into the shop and he just loud. Yo, boss, he sell me some chicken back then. But guess what? He didn't say the back. He goes, Yo, boss, it. Well, I never shown exactly when the. <laughs> well, on, well, on, well, on. let me see now. I have my car. Uh -huh. So, this guy came into the shop and he goes, Yo, bossy, sell me some. Watch out now, wait, I'm come in view. Sell me some chicken. And he's trying to knock him back. This is like a whole blade mashup. <laughs> so, the back, the knock, when I'm knocking back, he's telling you that he wants chicken back. Oh, man, it was so funny. Yeah. I thought we see a resonator. Alright, I'll put that over the top. I'm resting them on the tree. And then I'm going to put the other bit in to fry. It's not cooked inside yet, it's going to go in the oven. For the inside to cook properly because we're not eating around me but i want to reduce the amount of oil it's gonna absorb yeah yeah so i'm gonna get the oil to get hot again before i put the remaining bits in so i have to tell you so if you're going to use corn flour to fry stuff it's best to use the egg with it so it gets wet you know, and it have that extra crunchiness to it. Or is it going to have a kind of white looking, whatever you're frying. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's not, it's not okay. If you wanted to have a brown, you know, the normal looking brown, 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 fry, fry. Yeah, it's best to uh, dip it into the flour and the egg as well. I don't want the eggs on the bottom, I just do it my way. 
<sighs> Jesus, hold on, let me turn on the fan. You're gonna hear some hooing going on. That's the extractor to get all the smoke thing going on out. Hello, knowledge, hello, knowledge. How you doing? I'm gonna change it to fried barbecue chicken box because I want a certain color. Yeah? So I'm going to prepare the base and then I'll show you the end. I'll leave that in there. So we're gonna change the title. Still fried chicken box, but we're gonna add a bit of barbecue to it. Fried barbecue chicken, y'all. Happy Sunday to you guys, as we say, happy Sunday. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. And it's also happy Christmas Eve to those who are celebrating the festive season. I hope that you will get all the wonderful gifts that you are expecting. But remember, the greatest gift in life is life itself. And if you don't get the gift that you expect your friend, your partner, your family member to give you, Give time to live to see another day and he can be married. Okay. Things and time kind of hard enough. Recession is going A lot of things is happening, you know? Yeah. Alright. So I am going to look what Rambo says. Rambo say, I'm looking at the phone. Uh, what you are gonna do with? What well, we are gonna do to the chicken box? <laughs> because I didn't use the egg to fry the chicken back, it has a little bit of white patch look with the because of the corn flour. So I'm gonna change it and add some barbecue to it. So I'm gonna turn it into fried flash barbecue chicken back. Yeah, so I'm gonna make the sauce for it and then have a nice beautiful taste and a nice beautiful look at the end. Alright, so whilst that is happening, I'm gonna add my barbecue sauce. No matter barbecue, not the barbecue sauce, so I'm gonna use brown sauce. Well you know what me say? Make do with what you have so the barbecue sauce is not here so we're gonna go brown. We'll squeeze some brown sauce into a bowl. I'm gonna add some honey honey into the bowl yeah we're gonna we're gonna cook up our sauce together so this is life so we can't we can't pretend that one now we have to just try and get a flavor we need life so so sauce and honey in the bowl already and as i go you'll see exactly what else is going in there 
Så jag får inte för te. Bakom med fin då. Mm, nice. I'm gonna get some white vinegar. White vinegar. And add to it, but I'm gonna have to add some more to make more because I have a few big pieces of chicken back. Some more brown sauce, I don't have the barbecue sauce. Mix together. Again. Still nice. So we have three ingredients in here: brown, brown sauce, honey, and I'm adding some more honey because it's, I have a big batch dish. I'm just turning around the chicken back and forth. I'm turning them on the other side. Still making nice sauce. As, as, as you work, you're teaching you must always wipe away the excess stuff that drop on the side and so on, you know? Yeah, so you teach it here and it look so untidy, especially I'm on live. You know, I'm look good. Some spinach added to it. Yeah. Alright, so right now the chicken back here and pop out. Let them be a little bit more. And then I have the oven ready. No, I don't know I'm gonna cook in a hurry because I just believe that slow cook heat or steam cooked food the best. and white vinegar Sorry guys, may I turn the back to Hold on, hold on, I'll soon turn on. I'm going to remove all the chicken back from the pot. Finish with that, turn that off. I'll put this at the back so it doesn't get So I'm right, I roll this some of the ham show over there. I roll this some of them, I'm take all the chicken back out of the pot. Yeah, I'm gonna take all the chicken back to the whole of the chicken back here. 
need a container or a piece of a plate, a plate, we need a plate. I'm going to need to use the same grill to add the, um, the chicken back onto it before popping them into the oven. So I'm just going to place them over here so we know. Mmm. Well, nice. Yeah. You know when you get the little crumbs? Mmm. Nice. And bijama? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some, some powder pepper. Just a little bit of the sauce. Just a little bit of powder pepper. A little bit. And a little touch of browning, a little touch. Yeah, that's it. Like three drops. Again, come back and we are going to mix it up. Let's take it back over here. Mix it all together like that. <laughs> Remember, hold on no man, you want to be raw food, it's soon gone, but we have to wait. Let me cook first. Mm. So, I made a little sauce because my, my thingy, my corn flour, didn't give the, the, the thing the color I want. Because I didn't use the egg. So I'm going to add some, some sauce thing on it. I place it in the oven. Yeah. Tago nice. Tago nice. Hey God. Bakaya, you know. You know what I'm nice with my chicken back right now? Some hard or bread. You know, chicken back and bread nice. Jesus. Not the sliced bread, the real baked bread we used to. Some Captain bread that are nice. Somebody carry me a bread from Jamaica. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Yeah. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Yes, thank you. Turn up, turn, turn it up. All right, so we need a guinea spoon to go with the meal to the still. Uh, later, I can come home and steam some pumpkin and make some pumpkin punch with the guineas. Yeah. So guys, if you have barbecue sauce. You can just go ahead with the barbecue sauce and use it. I didn't, so I used brown sauce with some added honey and some white vinegar. Yeah. The chicken back nice and big. Meaning it have no flesh on it. I'm running low on sauce, so I might have to make a little bit more. But that's okay because I have the stuff to do it. So I'm going to put this into the oven for about 30 minutes. So it can uh, cook through. So we have a bit here broken off. Know? Just to get some out of here. Alright, so I run the bone sauce. That's what I was saying that I might have to do a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna make some more sauce, guys. Alright, let's clean this up a little bit. I'll be right back with the container. Let's 
Yeah, number one. Hey Denise, loving my chicken back, yo. Are you are the luckiest sister on here today on this live because you are gonna get some. <laughs> I have four more pieces to add my sauce to. So again, we're gonna get some more sauce. Brown sauce. Honey. I'm sorry, we're Jamaican. We are one of them cook when I make a nut. White vinegar and a few drops of browning and then mix. Yeah. So we're gonna stir together. barbecue sauce I would have added just some honey to it and and try the vinegar and see if it would give me a taste that I would like uh, but yeah so as you know if you don't and if you don't have brown sauce can I tell you you can use ketchup add ketchup honey vinegar a little browning stir it together you can still get an amazing sauce to put on your chicken. Yeah. So on this one, mm, I can't tell how it's nice. Normally when we when we're doing chicken back in Jamaica, if it's not frying French frying like this, we just fry it um, without any coating on it because we're gonna use it to brown stew. So if you brown stew in the chicken back, you don't need to put the sauce on it. You just fry it and then you do your thing. Another video will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Let me tie it here. And I can show you what I'm doing closer. So I'm gonna just dab a of these some more. So this is the finishing guys before I pop it into the oven. You see how nice and big the chicken butt pieces are? So like that, I am going to pop, pop this into the oven for about half an hour and then that's it. 
But when you're, for me, when I put stuff into the oven to cook, I always put a tray on top of it because I don't want it to burn before it's cooked on the inside. So I put it in the, in the oven with the tray on top. Once it's cooked, I will remove the tray and then leave the chicken exposed to the heat for another five minutes so that it can harden back the skin if it softens. Yeah? I hope that makes sense. So in the oven, And I will come back when I'm finished. Yeah, I will not stand up for half an hour. When the chicken back done, I will come back and tell you. But we don't think we not gonna wear at you. Let's stay there, I soon come. Chicken back in at the oven, I soon come. Wait. Okay, so guys, I am going to come back to you then. This is my fried fish. This is heading out the door now. When I'm finished, I'll come back later and I'll show you the finishing with the chicken back because I have a lot on and I don't want to sit here waste time. So, it's your girl Dalian. Oh, no, look on my ear. I really granny today and the ear I go wash still. <laughs> So thank you guys, this is Dalian's Kitchen. And if you're new to my channel, hello, wait one second, let me make you see. Let me check. Yeah, this is Dalian's Kitchen. If you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe man, because I'm gonna bring you a lot of dishes like this. So you can see how we cook like a Jamaican and a different way in case you prepare it but not the same as i do i like simplicity i don't like a lot of powder seasoning to my food the less on there is better but it's still a good taste good i stick to my garlic my scallion my thyme my onion herbal stuff yeah so maybe like me you cook that way you have to be aware that a lot of these seasons are full of chemicals. Well, to be honest, everything full of chemicals nowadays. But the less you consume, if you can reduce it, the better. And if you have certain ailments, high blood pressure, sugar, cancer, you know, all these different things, you really are to take care of yourself. When I have a lot, I have um, arthritis in my knees. Tell nobody to me tell you that. But I avoid certain food and we can do everything that a lot of people with arthritis dare not to do. Yeah, all right. Anyway, my soon come when we go again live later to show you the finishing, you will see the finishing. But as for now, we are gonna log out and go get some other stuff done. Yeah, man. Rambo, me appreciate you. Nurse Jackson, me appreciate you. Knowledge, I appreciate you. And everybody who came in and left, I appreciate you. And I shall show you the finishing soon. So I have my thing there. My chicken back with. I have some nice rice I prepared here. White rice, but I have um what do you call it spinach. I cut up spinach into it. Yeah. So white rice with spinach. Yeah. I eat that. Me soon come here. Look for the next live coming up with the finishing. Until now, I'm heading out. God bless. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll soon come back.